Hello, and good day to everyone. Welcome to Bottom Fishing 24-7. Today, we will dispense crucial information for anglers concerning the colors fish can see underwater, and what depths colors disappear underwater. My name is Kenneth Yamamoto. I'm from Eastern Asia originally, and I still visit frequently. This is the first video in a series about technical slow pitch jigging, and the research findings of the slow pitch inventor, and my good friend, fishing master Norihiro Sato. Here on the bottom fishing 24-7 channel, you will begin to learn a lot of information about Norihiro Sato, and how slow pitch jigging came to be. As many of you know, Sato, is credited with developing the art of slow pitch jigging in Japan many years ago. The waters in some places there were extremely overfished. Sato knew there were fish on the bottom in deeper water such as groupers. He sought out to find a way to connect with those deep water bottom fish that had rarely seen commercial fishing pressure. One step at a time, Sato began to develop his new fishing system. His technique would have to be different from any other. His research and development of slow pitch jigging was monumental, in-depth and exhausting. Sato was concerned about how fish could see their prey at depths. Now, we'll look into that research on underwater colors in this video. So, let's get into it. Let's talk about what a fish can see and what it cannot see. Some near shore and coastal fish are able to see colors, but most notably, the water conditions need to be pristine. On the other hand, deeper water offshore fish can only see shapes and color becomes nearly non-existent. This is technical, but well documented. This is due to a fish's eye anatomy. Their eyes contain rod cells, which can recognize contrast and, their cone cells, can recognize colors. Depending on the water depth, fish closer to shore will normally have more cone cells, than fish that live in deep water. Very poor eyesight is a problem for fish. The fish's eyes has a maximum resolution of 0.5, as referenced from research in Japan, and translates to a maximum of 2040 in the USA, and 612 in Europe. All this to say, the image that fish see is very blurred, not crisp or clear at all. Slow pitch jigging will likely be recognized by fish more in shapes, and far less in colors than we think, according to the research. It's important when it comes to slow pitch jigging, when we choose the size, and shape of our jigs. This is not brand new research. Heightened awareness is the key takeaway for technical jiggers. This important research improves how technical anglers will think, and, how we will adjust our jig and lower arsenal. So how deep can fish see color? Remember that water and weather conditions are variables, but this general guide is very dependable. We'll break it down here by water column depth, and colors at those depths. Red is debatable, and disappears quickly into the water column. Fish can possibly see red from approximately to 8 feet, to 15 feet of water, in the clearest most pristine water conditions. Then, amazingly, orange is next to disappear. Orange fades from view at around 35 feet of water. Yellow will be next to disappear at approximately 50 to 65 feet of water. Blues and greens are amazingly different. These two colors will remain visible to a fish, for as long as light is able to penetrate the water. In some areas of the world, sunlight can penetrate over 300 feet below the ocean surface. This is why the glow is so very important in slow pitch jigging, and we've now learned why most slow pitch jigs are made with a luminous glow on the belly side, at a minimum. The belly side of the jig faces down to the fish on the ocean floor, when the jig is pitched properly. Thus, exposing the glow no matter the jig colors. The fish will see the glow, regardless. This doesn't leave much guesswork for avid slow jigging anglers. If color is a big influence on your jig selection, this research should help you decide your color choices much easier. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this has been helpful for all of you jiggers out there. We have so much more technical information to come from my friend, the Japanese fishing master, Norihiro Sato. Please subscribe to Bottom Fishing 24-7 to be sure you are notified when the next segment is uploaded to this channel. Good fishing to all of you and may the wind and seas be calm. Good day and goodbye for now.